This tutorial will focus on using science.gov to find gray literature. Science.gov is a gateway to authoritative government scientific information and reports. It includes information from more than 14 federal agencies and searches over 45 scientific databases and more than 2,000 government websites. That's over 200 million pages. And unlike search engines we're most familiar with, like Google, that use crawlers to index the web, Science.gov searches within databases in real time to provide search results from the deep web and then it clusters the results. Let's go online. Science.gov is a very powerful and comprehensive search engine. So it's good to take a look at the help files when you begin a new search. There are good search tips, basic and advanced searching techniques. And I'd like to point this out. Unlike many search engines, you can export your result list to bibliographic software or email it to yourself or a colleague. Now let's do a basic search. Our topic is mosquito-borne diseases and climate change. And as the results build, I'm going to go to session preferences and have more results per page. Once all databases are searched, I'll include the additional results. And now we'll look at the page. On the left dashboard, you'll notice the clusters of results by topic and by date. The list itself is relevancy ranked. And on the right hand side, if there were a Wikipedia entry, it would be here. And if there are search alerts from their news search from the American Academy of the Advancement of Science, they will be listed here. Now let's look at the results set. And as we scroll down the page, You'll notice many of these articles have been retrieved from PubMed. And if you've already done that search, you wouldn't want to look at those. So I'm going to select a couple for us to look at. Once selected, I'll go to my selections. On this page, you'll see that I can please send them to EndNote by clicking here. And let's take a look. This first item actually is not gray literature, but it was published in a journal that you might not have seen with your regular searches. Many of these articles are available online, as this one is. It is a 1998 article because it was from a relevancy ranked article list. Let's look at this one. On this record, we'll see we have an abstract and nothing else. If you're interested in the application of ecosystem models and you want to learn more, you'll notice that this was presented at the fall meeting of the American Geophysical Union. So it's a meeting abstract, typical gray literature, and you would find out more by contacting the authors. Now let's look at using advanced searching. Our topic will be mosquito-borne disease and vector control. And in this search, I've replaced the S with an asterisk. I have the choice of searching the entire record or only the title or the author or any combination. And in the advanced search, I can limit my search to newer or older information. I'll do the last five years. And I can also pick and choose which databases to search. So perhaps I don't want to see things on science education. And I can go into the health and medicine area and eliminate everything that has come in from PubMed since I've already looked at it. And now I can click on search. In this result list, let's look at number two. If you're interested in spatial analysis of vector distribution, you might be interested in this thesis. Theses are considered gray literature. In order to get it, you can go through UMI or you can request it through interlibrary loan and the cost to you will be free or much, much cheaper than going through UMI. Let's take a look at clustering. If we're interested in articles only on mosquitoes, I can 
choose that cluster, and then the 11 on vector-borne disease. Again, there the thesis is the number one choice, and here are others. This is a PDF. Remember, you can come back to your result list and add additional search terms by using the refine results, redo the search under new search, or create a, an alert from a search that you've created to get updates via email. You'll have to create a username and password. For help with science.gov or any resource, please contact a Lister Hill librarian by phone, email, or chat. And to learn more about gray literature in the health sciences, see the Lister Hill Library Guide on Gray Literature.